Hi there, it's Nalan, and today let's look at how to create that uh, boundary wall that you have seen in the intro of this video. I used the railing tool to create this boundary wall, and the very first step is to create the custom railing post. Let me show you what I did. So here you go to the design tool, and the very first tool is the wall tool. So double click on that, and when this dialog box is up, you want to go to the settings, to the geometry and positioning, and then you choose a simple wall. This time we can make it at about 200 and you can create, choose another material that you like. Let me use brick for now. So in the model, which is uh, the, the very important part of what it is going to look like, Make sure to override those surfaces and link them to paint all of them a similar color or different colors if you so wish. And in my case, I'm going to paint them paint uh, light gray. And another feature that I like to use is the log details. So I like the look of this and I enable it and choose the square one, which I can increase just how high those log details are uh, about 300 could work say okay and we say okay so let's begin a draw so we zoom in because it's going to be obviously a fairly small one let's use um 500 by uh, 450 i guess and uh, shift, make sure that you hold shift in order to keep the thing together. So once you have drawn that, let's see what it looks like in 3D. Looks pretty nice, really. And uh, once you have done that, we need to put a coping on top of the this wall here. So let's go and create that. So in the design tab, we get to the slab tool. So let's come here and let's use a simple one, about 150 thick, and it needs to sit on top of the boundary wall. So let's reference beneath and make this three meters uh, the home story height. And let's override what it looks like. And for a coping, I think I may choose about stucco white rough. Why not? Choose any other that you like, and I think that's it. Say OK. So right now we can create this uh, sort of um, coping on top here, and we might need to uh, offset it in order for it to show just a bit off, to be offset off, and 50 should look good. And I think I'm happy with that. So. We select everything that we have modeled so far, and this is very important. You go to File, Libraries and Object, and then go to Save Selection As, and then you choose the railing post. That is pretty important. Take note of that. So you can say OK to whatever they are saying to us, and we say count Boundary Post. I'll save it as a boundary post for my case and say OK. So say OK to everything else. So now the fun part, creating the railing or the boundary wall. Let's go to the railing, double click it. We need to go to segment and we remove everything else that we do not like, which is in this case, the top rail, <coughs> we don't need that. The uh, handrail, we don't need that. The balustrade, we don't need that. The railing, we don't need that. So we have removed essentially what we don't need. And uh, I think we can make it at about three meters, the full height of the railing, to mimic what we have decided to be the height of the wall. For now, we can create a panel in here and we add it here. So this panel is uh, going to be, we can remove uh, the fixing for the panel, which is going to act as our wall. And let's make it at about 
thick 200 thick and just how it will look like you can go in 3d representation and uh, check override panel surface and choose the flow board or three for the railing post we choose what we have just created which is the boundary post right there and this is what it will look like which is pretty cool and how far apart is it going to be i think about four meters is much much better for this wall for the panel there we can decide how far apart it's going to be i think it should leave a bit of space up there uh, but uh, touch the ground touch the post on the left touch the post on the right so we can use zero zero on the rest and about 300 up there we say okay so let's place the ring so we click the first point shift holding down shift the next click and click double click on the final point let's see what that looks like i think that's pretty good and also for the posts when you go to the settings of this railing actually you can uh, add a post to it which post is in this case our boundary post and say okay and look at that that's so cool that is so cool so cool and if you're not happy about uh, some of the distances especially close to the posts here you can edit you can go to edit uh, click on one of these posts and uh, be sure to uh, uh, click on the node and choose drag such that you can drag this off and the rest will be spaced out better and uh, that is could also apply on this other side if you do not like that uh, distance and also i think this one it's a bit too close you can make it disappear oh it's still there so make sure that you after clicking the post make sure that it's the post that is uh, selected and you can drag it and uh, click it uh, just off this last post okay that is it so we can exit edit mode and we have ourselves a pretty cool wall so one more thing if you do like to flip how this uh, flowboard is you could go to options element attributes and then you choose surfaces so in surfaces you can choose the flowboards which is uh, what you have there and go to texture and orient this texture 90 degrees to the ground and say okay and look at that that looks pretty cool so that is what i wanted to share with you today subscribe below if you haven't like the video and i'll see you in the next one bye